Hey, I'm looking at you. No breaking the rules, all right? If you're not a Poe player, better get out of here. I gotta... Oh, God, I got... Okay, hold on. All right, we're alive, we're alive. All right, I'm kidding, by the way. Welcome back to another casual commentary. Feels kind of weird to say that. I My music is too low still. I can't hear anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's been a while uh, since I've done one of these, which I guess the first thing we'll talk about is why has it been a while? Good transition. Good job. Uh, well, short answer for it is I've just been busy. You know, I've been working on a lot of stuff. If you've been keeping up to date with uh, some of the things I've been talking about not on the channel, which I totally understand if you don't want to, because uh, I also talk about poo poo and pee pee sometimes, um, then you'll know that I, I'm working on a huge, or you won't know, I guess. <laughs> that I'm working on this huge commentary project. Uh, if you remember a while back last summer, I worked on The Secret to Improving. Uh, it was an hour and 10 minute long guide, took a few months to get done. Similar vein, working on a huge commentary project. So far, I've been working on it since January, so that's like four months. Uh, and it's very long. It's written about anxiety, it's very similar to The Secret to Improving. Uh, it's already well over half an hour long, probably gonna end up being longer than that as well. But uh, yeah, so that's been taking a huge chunk of time. And part of why those videos take so long to make, I downsig by accident, is that, uh, well, there's just a lot of steps. There's the initial brainstorm phase where, hey, I have an idea to do this. Then there's the phase of, okay, let me actually write all this down. All these thoughts that were completely jumbled up, probably thought of some of them in the shower. Let's put them on the page and actually, you know, understand this so that it makes any kind of sense. I did 420 damage that game, very cool. So they take so long to make because uh, I brainstorm my thoughts, then I write them down, yada yada yada, that's what I was talking about. Okay, and then uh, then I rewrite those thoughts, I re revise everything, uh, and rewrite the entire script. Then I let it simmer for a little while, I take a break, I let those thoughts, because you know, those types of videos, they're, not only are they kind of personal, but they're, you know, I, I try to get to the meat of things and say things both succinctly, but also like meaningful. So I take some time to let the thoughts simmer, you know, make sure that uh, it is what I want to talk about, what I want to discuss in the video. Uh, and then after that, usually I come up with even more ideas, so the pages keep, and, the, and the number of words just keep getting piled on uh, as time goes on. Then after that, I do some research to make sure that I'm not saying anything bad because you don't want to be saying anything bad, anything wrong, anything harmful that could potentially be misinformation. Uh, so there's that stage, and as we know, uh, based on my intelligence level, research will probably take a while because, again, cannot really read properly, uh, both in-game and out-of-game, apparently. Um, but yeah, and then after that, I record the voiceover, which, I mean, that as well probably, if you can tell, takes a long time based on this commentary, but also if you've watched any of my outtakes, um, which I, you know, I show some of those on stream sometimes, they, uh, <laughs> I get distracted so easily. I just say the dumbest things because I think they're funny, and then I realize I have to re-record the same segment 300 times because this video is not supposed to be about motorcycles, uh, and then, yeah, so there's that stage as well. There, it's a whole thing. It's a whole mess, but yeah, that's part of why those videos take a long time. And then it's the editing and piecing it together and stuff like that. I, I gotta not only record the voiceover, but get some background footage that I feel like is good enough eye candy because, you know, what I'm talking about might be stupid, so people might not like it, so I just gotta have eye candy in the background. You know how that goes. I just saved them, I think. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. After that, there's the whole editing process, so I get the footage, I got the recording, now I gotta piece it together, and I have these weird, arbitrary things throughout the editing process, like one of them is with those big videos, I want it to end on like a perfect numerical number value, uh, as in end on zero minutes and zero seconds for whatever it is, so like the secret to improving ended perfectly on one hour, ten minutes, and zero seconds, and so I have to like script it according to that and like edit it according to that, whoa, I fell off the stage. Uh, so that that ends up working out and then I do these things where it's like I have this idea for certain edits and it's not for everything obviously But uh, a philosophy that I often have with making videos is that I want it to feel like the videos are not edited Even though it's very intricate and very deliberate and I spend a lot of time on purpose doing things so that you know people will literally never notice that something is edited in a certain way uh, and those take a ton of time as well also I dropped the Edgar like four times so we're not gonna pay attention to that we're gonna move past that one it's a whole thing basically it takes a lot of the time uh, through throughout that day and throughout the video editing process um, which 
I, I don't know. I, I, my process is not the not the most smooth because I get really, really antsy about the smallest of things. Uh, again, I'll talk more about this in the commentary, which I don't even know if I mentioned uh, what the huge commentary is about, but it talks a lot about anxiety. It goes into, into detail about that. And so one of the things that I mentioned, uh, and again, I'll talk about this more in detail, is about how I can kind of go manic sometimes about editing. I will watch the same one frame animation of a cut 200 300 400 500 times to make sure that it's perfect and it, it's kind of crazy um so yeah that there's a there's a lot of time going into that big one that big boy video but in the meanwhile i'm also <laughs> working on other videos or other projects or streaming every single day at the same time so there's a, there's a lot of busyness going on uh, if you want a little sneak peek into things which i guess i haven't talked about it in a while since again it has been a long time since i've made a casual commentary well i'll talk about it in the next next game i suppose you know sometimes i pronounce word weird because i just like saying things funny but i realize i said suppose and i emphasize the po and this whole video is about po and i did not do that on purpose but uh, I had a feeling someone was going to point that out, so I said it. But yeah, uh, another video that, that I'm working on, or one of my most requested or like most asked for things is like, when's the next video in, in the stats series? You know, the, the speed, power, lag, defense, like when's it coming out? Um, well, the next one is called Pain. I play Jiro. I say some really stupid things, and I actually made it five months ago. It has been sitting on my hard drive since December of 2020. There's a Val commentary sitting in there as well. I think it's called the best, the best character in Brawlhalla history. It talks about the tournament history of Val, how she is bar none the number one character uh, in, in terms of like results in tournament history. There's that. Like th those two have been sitting on my hard drive literally since December. Uh, I have a video where I was interviewed by Brawlhalla devs. I have a commentary talking about the, the magic of tournaments and competition and everything like that. Uh, uh, the 16 minute greatsword montage I talked about in past videos. How I 1v7 the chosen bots. That's been sitting on my hard drive since August. That footage is is old at this point. The chosen bots have been updated. Uh, so, I, you know, once I release that one, I'll probably need to do the challenge again. But that, that was pretty fun. Uh, I did a lot of that on stream as well. Uh, I have a video on the secret Brawlhalla game mode that has zero active players at the moment. That one should be fun. Uh, there's a story time commentary about how our car engine like exploded and so I had to do a buzzer beater poop in a rocky crevice in a beach before the waves completely engulfed me. Uh, so that one's weird. But yeah, point is, I, I, I'm just I'm just busy. I've also already made over 70 videos on the, the secret channel Eggsop, which I guess isn't so secret anymore. Uh, but yeah, that'll that channel will officially launch when I release the big commentary the big boy Which by the way, I don't I don't think I mentioned it, but the still working on a title for it Don't entirely know what I'm gonna call it the working title at the moment is the darker side of Brawlhalla content Which sounds pretty nice. I might end up rolling with that. We'll see not entirely sure once again But yeah, I've just got a lot on my plate, but that's not even the biggest thing which I don't know what's happening in this game I think I'm just talking so much. I don't have any oxygen to breathe anymore uh, but the biggest time sink has been, uh, and time sink makes it sound like it's a bad thing, which it isn't, um, but streaming and stream highlights, oh my god, there's so many stream highlight videos on the back burner right now. Xed has been helping so much, but even so, like, I don't know, I'm so busy that even though he's cut down streams from, like, months ago, which, okay, again, I'm like, I literally don't have oxygen th this game, so I'm, I'm just running into orb. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let me, let me game for a second. Let me game for a second. Just one second is all it takes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I had some time to breathe in the queue. Can uh, resume the thought. Uh, yeah, even though xed has been helping a lot with cutting down the VODs, uh, and there's some stuff out there that, even though it's a couple months old and he's cut it all down, they're still not out because I'm working on all this other stuff. But again, that's not to say that I don't like streaming and I don't like doing it. Streaming is probably my favorite part of 2021 so far. It's, it's just been a lot of fun, you know, hanging out with the community, talking with everyone, and, and, and something about being live is really special. Okay, I'm running into every single signature. You know what? This game, I'm not going to talk anymore. We're just going to, we're just going to play. I need to stop. I need to stop. This is not healthy for my, for my brain right now. <laughs> I'm in the depths, but, but uh, yeah, I, I started regularly streaming in June of 2020, if you're not aware, um, and I had the, just an idea to make some really solid and... I don't know, clean stream highlights. I just really wanted to do that because those are some of the videos that I love to watch. And so I was like, I want to try making them and see what I can do. Uh, and so I've poured so much time into not only developing the videos themselves, but developing a style for the videos. And uh, 
finding out what I like, how to make it work, how to make it efficient, which I, you know, I'm still still on that one. Not very efficient on those. Upload schedule is kind of de demolished, but um, yeah, that's part of why a lot of those videos have been on the channel is because they just take so much time to make. I mean, like I talked about earlier, I'm kind of manic about a lot of edits, and now imagine that you have hours and hours and hours of footage to choose the best moments from, and it's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big time sink. But again, that's not to say that I don't like it because I love streaming. It's uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Let's uh, let's make a comeback this game. Talk less about streaming. Talk more about gaming, and do that. Um, anyway, that's uh, that that's also a big intro. I know. I don't know how many minutes we're in so far, but all I've talked about is why I'm busy and why there's not a lot of other videos. But that's that's pretty much it. Uh, by the way, if you want to watch on Twitch, you can. Which I, it's just a brain dump automatically. Plug. You do this for long enough, and. Uh, and your brain just automatically starts to plug yourself every time you talk about <laughs> which I'm, I do apologize if that's annoying but uh, yeah we, we generally have a nice wholesome casual community I've definitely uh, made a big effort to foster that within the space um, uh, I'll talk about this later in the video which is the next topic but I've certainly 100% done things to limit my own growth on pretty much every platform on purpose because I want to focus on community again I'll get more into that later but um, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying the Twitch community. Sometimes it can get crazy if there's big events or like uh, a dev stream host and stuff like that. But yeah, community has been another huge focus and a huge time sink of mine. Uh, I've been pouring a lot of time into integrating stuff more, uh, making channels in the Discord that are completely community driven. Stuff like a welcome channel. I think I saved them with my weapon throw, which is pretty sad. Didn't mean to do that one, uh, I guess, obviously, but things happen sometimes. Not really paying the most attention, I suppose, even though I said I should at the beginning of this game. Um, but there we go. See, it, 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 you gotta focus. You gotta focus in intermittent times in between the game. That'll do it. That'll do it. But yeah, a lot of time in the Discord. Uh, it's not really something that I talk about, or I, I guess plug is the word again, much on the channel. So uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of people there that probably don't even know it, or a lot of people here that are watching that don't even know it exists. But yeah, uh, it's been a community for a while. And so I realized because it's been a community for a while, not a lot of people knew about it. As people have been learning about it more recently, uh, it's pretty intimidating to join a Discord server and everyone's already having a conversation, they know all the inside jokes, and you're just sitting there like, oh, what's good? <laughs> like, hi. Uh, and so it can be intimidating, so I started this new, like, welcome channel, which is probably long overdue, but it's basically just a quick introduction. I'm trying to say hello to every new joiner, but it does get a bit difficult and hard sometimes. But yeah, it's just a way to get to know people. I also started another channel called Eggs Thoughts, which I hope is isn't narcissistic but it probably is um, but basically I realized another thing is that I just keep everything inside and I'm, like I don't let y'all in on a lot of the stuff basically a lot of what I'm talking about in this video I've already talked about in that channel um, because I'm just working and so like I don't want to just talk about stuff and then not show any results for 10 months because I'm working on 50 different things at the same time and so none of them get completed quickly um, I feel bad about that so I just don't say anything and I just work until they're done I realized that there's probably people out there that want to know what's going on uh and so i'm working on that as well on that channel but yeah there's, there's a lot of community integrated stuff um and then also just a lot of things that most people probably won't care about at all and like that's totally fine i recognize that but i like make or i work on a lot of things that i just like a lot uh, like reddit recaps and unbanned forms and a snack tier list. I'm working on a Tetris video right now That'll come out soon But like that's the kind of thing where you're, you just you listen to that and you're just like why? Like why do that? Like that's such a stupid decision to make if we're talking like in terms of career and growth and min maxing time and I have all these other projects that uh, People are probably more likely to want to see so why would I make a Tetris video and I don't know it doesn't make sense It's a stupid thing to do, but I want to do it so I'm just gonna do it. Now that, I guess, is the perfect transition into talking about the growth stuff, which I mentioned earlier, which is, yeah, sometimes I do things on purpose to limit my own growth, which, again, if we're talking like this as a career or a job and stuff like that, is a stupid thing to do. Um, but I really do make an effort um, to develop a community that I can be happy about and proud of and enjoy being in and have other people feel safe and enjoy being in as well. And so I've like, yeah, I'm not gonna go into too many specifics, but I definitely have done direct things to sabotage my own growth and spend time on things that probably are kind of stupid. Like, I mean, a good example is this Tetris video, right? Like I could make probably three Brahala videos in the time that it makes 
<laughs> or, or like three well thought out Brahala ones in one Tetris video. Um, dogs barking in the background. Apologies for that, but like <laughs> another thing is the darker side of Brahala content, right? I could make that one commentary video and it takes five months, or I could make 150 Brahala videos. And like, what will help me out more? If we're just talking in terms of like growth, which is often what YouTube tries to make you think of because they want to keep you on their site. Like, yeah, it's a stupid thing to do, but I want to do it. And there's other stuff too, again, not going to get into details, but I do want hundred percent focus on community um, first really, and making videos that I like as well. Um, because otherwise I think I will just get burnt out and nobody wants to see someone get burnt out, right? That's not healthy. Nobody's healthy. I say that. And then I also talk about how I'm working on 150 videos at the same time, so maybe I'm not the person to say that, but you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, part of why this is on my mind is because uh, the most recent video I posted, it was a ranked video, you know, just casually playing ranked, playing Petra. I thought the commentary was, you know, it was decent, decent video. I mean, it was one of those one-offs. Um, but then a lot of the comments were, I think because it's been such a long time since I played ranked, again, same reasons as, uh, as this video why I haven't played ranked in a while, but uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But it's been like four months since I posted a ranked video, and so a lot of the comments, I'm gonna be honest, I was not super happy about. They were kind of toxic towards some of the people I played against, and one of the things that I definitely tried to emphasize when I played ranked in the past was to just, I don't know, I mean, there's not really a point in being toxic, it's just bringing down everything for, for what? Not much, right? Um, so I didn't get hit by that, that was someone else. You, that was someone else was playing for me. Um, yeah, and I do want to emphasize, like, my opponents, first of all, like, they don't know they're being recorded, so that's kind of like, eh, I don't know. It, it feels weird to flame someone when it's like they're not even volunteering to be in front of you. And then, like, even, even past that, just flaming someone to begin with is, is you know, not the kind of environment that I want to promote here for sure. Uh, and so that's why that was on my mind, but like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna talk about that more with a full dedicated video when Reno comes out. I'll probably make a only Reno players can see this video. Reno, by the way, I've, I'm, I don't think I've been as excited for a new legend in so long. Uh, Orb and Blasters are two of my favorite weapons, and he just looks really cool. My, one of my friends, Calamari Popped, helped design some of the stuff for him, so that's also, you know, an added bonus. I mean, it's just Bugman. How can you not be happy about Bugman? I mean, I can't because I missed my combo. I can't be happy about anything, but... Yeah, I don't know. He's just Bugman. Bugman says hi. This is the stupidest thing I could do, but I got saved for it, so we're fine. Um, but yeah, I'll probably make like six videos when Reno comes out, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm so excited. But yeah, I guess that's the, that's the TLDR of the video. I don't know why I say that at the end of the video. That's not the TLDR of the video, but I'm feeling like I talked about kind of what I wanted to talk about in terms of commentary, let y'all in on a little bit of information for what's coming up and everything like that. I do feel bad sometimes when I just, I don't know, it feels like I got way ahead of myself there. I wanted to do another nair into that, but I just didn't. Um, but yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people recently have really been contributing so much to the community. I feel bad when I don't have the energy to show up. Something I didn't even talk about is sleep, which has been a constant issue on the channel and in, in my life. But yeah, that's that's a whole nother thing. But I feel like I talked about what I wanted to talk about. Unfortunately, I missed the last haymaker of the video, which is kind of sad. But I did complete the mission, so it's kind of perfect timing. And uh, if you're not a Poe player, you're getting banned. I don't know why the music cut out there. I was like perfect. I was trying to time it and then it just stopped. All right, it's not going to play again. All right, bye.